Okay, this is an update of the IBC system. As you can possibly, I'm not sure if you can make it out, there's four bearer in there, three silver perch. One of the silver perch is only 150, 200 mil long. And the bearer are almost plate size. Uh, I've turned the system off at the moment to allow for better vision into the tank. Uh, this one here is swimming sideways for some reason. He's, uh, they're not too happy about being open like this. Uh, I've taken the tarps off so you get a better look. He looks like he's got dropsy or something. There's a silver. Here's the larger, larger of the silvers. Uh, have a look. Uh, Set a pipe, I've doubled the infill, the overflow pipe's got an extension on it with a few holes and a cap to stop sucking the goldfish and whatnot down. The outflow, main outflow has also got a cap on to also prevent the goldfish from being sucked out. Uh, radial flow filters, I've got the air pumps, air filters out at the moment so the water's a little bit clearer. Uh, everything's going good. Paint bag filter is fine. Uh, only had a few problems with it overflowing. Uh, the bit of water on the top there now. That I've just taken the pipes out of the uh, sump tank for the marin. Uh, there's a couple of marin in here somewhere. They're all hiding. I'm just taking the pipes out to keep a count on them. I just found. Uh, found a shell from one of the marin, so that the shed their skin. But they're all growing fine. Uh, I've submerged all the pumps underneath the frame, so the next job is to actually put uh, timber tops on top of these two tanks, so I can uh, get a better coverage and continue on with my deep water culture on top there. Uh, this is a new strawberry plant. New tomatoes, new lettuces, I've harvested all the other lettuces. Another tomato plant with a tomato. Uh, bell housing. You can't see too much down there. There's me bell house, me little black hose or hose clip. That helps the uh, pipes drain a little bit better. The extra holes there also help. Uh, depending on your flow rate, you may need more hose, uh, holes or a hose. Here's my stem pipe. As you can see, it's a 20 mil pipe. It's got a 19 mil grommet in it with a 15 mil feeder. The 15 mil feeder is because when I bought these bells, they're from a constant flow system with a 19 mil grommet on the bottom. Uh, you can't get, couldn't adapt them. I got that's the first. Uh, bell bulkhead I could find so I ended up having to put up with that. Uh, I've moved both the stem pipes and the housings and the gravel guards all to one corner so they're both within view, easy view, easy reach of each other. Uh, second bed as you can see I've got cucumbers, a few lettuces, uh, that's my Basil, mint basil plant, it's growing humongous. A uh, fair few cucumbers down there, if you can I'm not sure if you can quite see them. Fairly large, I've harvested two of them so far. I've got a bit of, uh, I think it's a calcium deficiency where the leaves break down, leaf piping holes in the leaves. Uh, new leaves are growing fine. Some of them are starting to calcium holes. Uh, I've got a chili plant down there, the bugs have been into that. The bugs got into most of the cauliflower and cabbages that I grew earlier. Yeah, that's my new uh, system set up. Hope you enjoy and uh, if you have any uh, ideas or problems or questions, let me know. That's my piping un directly underneath the IBC. 
It's just a 25 mil pipe pushed up hard against into the 19 mil hose fitting. It's got a 90 degree bend attached with a 1.2 meter 25 mil pipe. Both of my grey beds have got four mil pipes hanging out of them. Both pipes are submerged, fully submerged. They work perfectly. The uh, reason for submerging them is to create extra air with the water flow going in. Uh, you get a big gush of water and air when it first starts up, but as it slows down after the first initial gush, you got that constant air, so your system is fully aerated. I uh, hope this helps everybody. Uh, that's my other Pi Pi, I didn't set it before, that's also got a small venturi on it, plus a few holes to create extra oxidisation for the whole system. So I've got oxygen going from the sump tank, through the pump, into the fish tank, and into both grow beds. So I hope everyone is happy with that, and thank you for watching. Bye.